Hey, Big Brother fans. So all week long, it looked like chemo was going to jury tonight, but now Mackenzie is upset because Cam woke up and decided to start playing and he's trashing her plans. Hey, subscribe if you haven't. And now let's dig into what went down on Wednesday on the feeds that is changing the face of this game. Mackenzie, as you know, didn't use the veto for the first time in BB26. So Kimo and Rubina are on the block, final two nominees. And that leaves Chelsea and Cam as the only two voting. So they are in charge of who goes home if they vote together and Mackenzie doesn't really have a say. It's out of her hands unless they split the vote. But those two are so tight that doesn't seem likely. So on Wednesday, Rubina was reassured by Mackenzie that she was staying and Kimo was going to jury at tonight's live eviction. And what was kind of weird is she said worst case maybe there'd be a tie that she would break in Rubina's favor so I don't know if she was just trying to keep Rubina calm just you know in the case of all eventualities but you know Cam and Chelsea do vote in lockstep for the most part so Mackenzie seems convinced that evicting chemo is on lock that's early Wednesday but things began shifting in the BB26 house and it looks like what's expected in tonight's eviction is completely upended now while Kimo and Rubina were busy planning a pillow fight and fashion show there was some conspiring in the house Cam went to work on Chelsea Wednesday on the live feeds Cam does not want Kimo evicted because he did the math and realized he'll be the only guy left which makes him vulnerable if they follow through with this all girls final three. So Cam has been paying attention and finally decided to play at this late point in the game. He has been using those invisibility skills apparently, but while he was working to convince Chelsea to keep chemo, we saw Rubina and Mackenzie scheming to get rid of Cam. Mackenzie knows she needs to split Chelsea and Cam apart ASAP. And let's be real, Rubina staying is much better for Mackenzie than Chemo staying, but I don't think it's going to go that way. Cam has also been talking to Chemo, telling him he's trying to save him. And to his credit, when talking to Cam this week, Chemo has been making campaign promises. He told both Cam and Chelsea that he would absolutely go after Mackenzie if he wins HOH and not one of them. Chemo told them both that he thinks Mackenzie is their biggest obstacle to getting to finale night, which is accurate. And then Cam talked to Chelsea on Wednesday and she did say, yeah, Mackenzie and Rubina and I have been talking and forming this all girls final three, but, you know, reassured him that really wasn't what she was going to do to him. And Cam told Chelsea, absolutely. He wants chemo to stay and says that there's no reason not to because he's just as easy to beat as Rubina if the argument is they want to move forward with someone weaker. I mean, honestly, chemo might even be more beatable than Rubina. And should chemo win HOH, he's not going to, you know, target them. One of them will have to go up, but they wouldn't be his primary. Cam also talked about how tight Mackenzie and Rubina are getting lately and thinks it's a risk for both him and Chelsea because Mackenzie might keep Rubina and bump one of them out towards the final three, which seems accurate because that's exactly what Mackenzie's talking about doing. So Cam convinced Chelsea, talked her around to his point of view, and, you know, when she pressed, he agreed to chat with Rubina to see what her vibe. And at one point when she was talking to him, when Rubina was talking to Cam, she kind of hinted that the two of them could go to final two. I mean, he's got to know that's just a big fat lie at this point. So Chelsea and Cam talked through some scenarios for keeping chemo and what would happen if they did. They assume that one of them are going to win HOH because Mackenzie can't play in the comp and chemo's not a comp winner. But Chelsea was worried about what happens if Mackenzie wins the veto, takes herself off the block. Cam reminded her that even though Mackenzie would then be the only vote, because one of them would be on the block, one of them would be HOH not voting, that she has wanted chemo out for so long that the odds are if she got to be the sole vote to evict, they would still be safe and she would still send chemo packing to jury as she planned, probably with an eye 
on taking the other girl to final two. So Chelsea's outlook is if they're going to do this, they need a plan. She wants them to talk with chemo, lock everything down so that they can all work to evict Mackenzie next week and go into a chemo cam and Chelsea final three. So they debated whether they should just vote this way and not warn Mackenzie, let her be blindsided on Thursday. But Cam thinks they should tell her in advance so that she kind of knows it could be coming and that if she won veto the following week, she wouldn't be so salty that she would let chemo stay and would evict one of them just out of revenge or spite. They were exploring all the scenarios. And Cam and Chelsea did reaffirm their final two in all these Wednesday night talks. And then Cam suggested that they talk to Mackenzie and let her explain why it's so important for Rubina to stay and just kind of see if anything is sus there. Chelsea is hoping to win the next HOH, put Mackenzie up next to chemo, and then Cam can vote out Mackenzie, which will be great for Chelsea. Keep that little bit of blood off her hands. So late on Wednesday, Cam and Chelsea finally got time alone with Mackenzie up in the HOH room. And then the evict chemo versus evict Rubina debate kicked into high gear. Mackenzie was very put out because she thought chemo was a lock to go, but she also knows she can't vote. It's out of her hands unless it's a tie. So Mackenzie was lobbying pretty hard, saying several things. She's wanted chemo out for a while. Rabina's not a threat in comps. Chemo has a better social game. But when they were alone again, Cam and Chelsea agreed they're going to vote Rubina because Mackenzie's objections aren't good enough. There's nothing there to entice them to change the plan. But then later, Chelsea and Mackenzie had a one-on-one and then Mackenzie started pushing again about Rubina. And Chelsea told her flat out, Cam's not going to change his mind. So it could go to a split vote if Chelsea votes the way Mackenzie wants. And then the HOH was starting to get a little irritated because she seems to think that they owe her because she renamed Leah so they could evict her, who was a very close ally of Mackenzie's. I mean, that's true enough, but she's not going to be able to cash in that chip. You know, Chelsea played her. She's been outplayed. It happened. And then, you know, Mackenzie was also saying she could have targeted Cam this week, repeating that the two of them, she and Chelsea, have carried Cam this whole way. Chemo will choose Cam over them. In the end, as they circled back around to Cam and Chelsea, it definitely looks like at this point, Rubina is going to jury. The only way for chemo to go is for Chelsea to break ranks with her rider, Die Kim, split the vote, and Mackenzie breaks it in favor of Rubina. But I really doubt Chelsea is going to turn on Cam like that. I mean, realistically, keeping chemo is probably better for them both. So unless somebody warns Rubina, she may get blindsided tonight. Mackenzie knows this is a possibility, so it won't be a true blind side for her. But the feeds are down already. Don't know if they're going to come back up. So if somebody decides to warn her, we may not even see it. Chemo seems to sense that he's probably going to stay because he did perk up last night, did a little performance art dance piece in the kitchen, but he needs to keep a lid on smiling too much or Rubina is going to smell what's going to happen. If it all goes as Cam wants tonight, Rubina is going to jury. Either he or Chelsea win HOH. Mackenzie goes on the block next to either chemo or Rubina, but hopefully chemo. And unless Mackenzie wins the veto, she's going to go out in fourth place. And that leaves weak player chemo in final three with Cam and Chelsea, which is great for them. It's a much better option than them going with Comp Beast Mackenzie to final three as we wrap up the last couple of weeks of BB26. We'll see who this vote blindsides, if anyone, but it is definitely a game changer. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.